Sargent, Texas is a small village along the Gulf Coast and has long been a weekend destination for inlanders across the state, as well as home to a few hundred permanent residents. Access to Sargent Beach from the mainland is provided by a swing bridge, one of the many that once dotted the coastal landscape of Texas. Today, there are only two swing bridges left in the state, and this one is about to be demolished. Let's look at the history of this bridge and why over the last half century, nearly all of the state's swing and draw bridges have been replaced. Unlike most of Texas's beach towns, Sargent isn't naturally on an island. Located at the mouth of Caney Creek on the Gulf of Mexico, the beach was separated from the mainland by the construction of the Intracoastal Waterway, a 3,000-mile navigable path following the Gulf and the Atlantic from Boston to the Mexican border. Since there was no natural water body to run the path through at Sargent, a canal was dredged inland from the naturally occurring beach, and until 1943, there was no road access to the coast. The original wooden swing bridge was replaced in 1975 with the current bridge, and it has remained virtually unchanged for the last 45 years. The 120-foot floating span of the Sargent Swing Bridge pivots north to allow for the passage of boats, directed by a mainland side control tower. Although pleasure craft can crowd the intracoastal on weekends, industrial barge traffic dominates here. From a practical standpoint, there are a lot of problems with mechanical bridges. The Sargent Bridge runs nearly half a million dollars a year in operation costs and maintenance, employing five full-time operators to keep the bridge running 24-7. Residents cite wait times as one of the reasons to replace it. Opening the Sargent Bridge for barge traffic can close road travel for 15 minutes, and when an emergency vehicle accesses the island, boat traffic is stopped until the vehicle returns to the mainland. The bridge is also narrow, barely wide enough for the two opposing lanes of traffic to cross. The vulnerability of the Sargent Bridge was highlighted on Memorial Day weekend 2014 when a barge struck the main span, ceasing its operation for one of the busiest weekends of the year and stranding numerous residents on the island for days. The weekend population of Sargent is often tenfold that of the permanent population, and the line to cross the bridge can back up for over a mile. Replacing the swing bridge has been on the table since before the Memorial Day incident, and TxDOT has solicited community input on the project starting in 2013. The remarkable and unique new $41 million bridge is under construction now adjacent to the historic swing bridge. Due to site constraints, the vertical ascent of the bridge is provided at each end via a corkscrew, the only such design on a Texas intracoastal crossing. The new main span will clear 73 feet vertically, and like most of the other new bridges, will have no operable portions. TxDOT expects the project to be completed by the end of 2020, after which the swing bridge will be closed and dismantled. 22 miles south of here, the Matagorda Swing Bridge was replaced in 2009. After the Sargent Bridge is removed, the only remaining swing bridge in Texas will be the Garcia Street Bridge in Port Isabel. If you want to experience the Sargent Swing Bridge, you have a few months left. The new bridge will be an engineering marvel in its own right, but there is something intriguing about the old mechanical bridges that once defined coastal life, a shared experience of nearly 80 years of beachgoers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and join me on the next adventure.